is Amy Quick. I'm a sophomore from Gretna High School. I apologize in advance, but I am not good at public speaking. My breasts become rapid, palms become sweaty, chest clenches, I can hardly breathe. I'm currently somewhere between throwing up and crying. This is one of my worst fears next to grasshoppers and death, yet I have to face it at a place where I'm forced to go almost every day for 12 years. School. School is supposed to be this place where you feel safe and where you learn, while well, I don't feel safe. Calling me out because my brain works differently, sorry I don't fit your mold of the perfect student. And tests don't help me learn. All they do is test my patience, test how well I can study, and test how long before I snap. I try my best in school because my whole future depends on it, but this is the one thing I can't seem to improve. I am terrible at public speaking, even if it's just in the classroom. The speech unit freshman year almost murdered me. We had to do an optimist speech, which is hard enough for me, the pessimist, but on top of that, it had to be five minutes long, 300 seconds, each second passing endlessly in my head. And guess what? I almost blacked out, faking the whole thing, making up words I know I put down somewhere, rambling, muttering, stuttering, forcing some things to come out of my mouth, even if it didn't make sense. Uh, being an optimist is uh, important because pineapples and uh, cat videos. <laughs> I wish public speaking was easier because I would do the things I love but terrify me to the point of tears. I would do theater and bask in the burning bright lights and enjoy myself. I would join choir and sing like a canary in the mines. I would read my poetry without shaky hands, and I wouldn't be scared when a teacher calls on me in class. Even if I know the answer, I slouch further down in my chair and hope to disappear into a void I would gladly make. When I say my name, I immediately start to panic. My heart starts trying to break out of my chest. I feel like all the blood has drained from my body. I wish to evaporate into darkness and stop existing because I can hardly bring myself to say x equals 3. When I don't know the answer, it only gets worse. Did you read the pages in the textbook? Yes, I read the pages in the textbook. Well then, why don't you know the answer? I have no idea. <laughs> the pressure is too much. I feel like I might explode. My throat is constricting, letting little to no air in. This is how people die, guys. I, <laughs> I don't know how much more I'll be able to take, and I still have two years of high school left, so I'm sorry I'm not good at public speaking. Writing is so much easier. Put words on paper and no one judges you. I mean, you're actually judging me, but you seem nice. <laughs> Instant feedback is the scariest thing to me. Even though it can't physically hurt me, I'm still scared for my life. <laughs>